Hi guys, welcome back to WebJada. In the previous one, we successfully implemented this, uh, you know, dark theme toggle, which uh, which had text before. So I have changed it to icons. You can get the code. Uh, I have. I will share the link. Now it is also, you know, SSR. So when I say SSR, if you refresh the page and look at the source, you see this data theme uh, as light here. And if you uh, switch it back to dark mode and refresh and also look at the source now it is data theme dark so it happens on the server side so that is that is what it means all right now there is you know it, it's it's pretty much complete but not quite yet so there is something called prefers color scheme um, so what it means is if a user has set his operating system to use dark apps so in apps in darker mode then so this will be true okay so then we will also be showing our website in darker mode it's not like a mandatory you know thing but it's better if you show a darker version of your theme if your user prefers that color scheme right darker color scheme now this is a media query so the way we use it is usually something like this how we use max width min width media queries now, how do we access it is through window.matchmedia. So if you look at how window.matchmedia is used, uh, we put this uh, max width 600 pixels here, that query itself here, and that will uh, tell us whether it is true or not. Now here, uh, it is we are actually asking whether the screen width is less than 600 pixels. Anyway, so we will need this. So we're going to copy this maybe and we'll change it so almost everything is in now bar so i'll put it here somewhere so i'll just uh, maybe this may not be required i'll tell you why now here i will try to console log this but the match media i'll change it to prefers color scheme okay uh, not light i want the dark dark one so put it here um now i'm not quite sure what my color scheme is that i have set let me look at here it says false so i'm uh, you know I, I don't prefer dark mode if i want the true false value so i just add dot matches uh, i think this here all right now i should get yeah i'm getting false now there is a way to change it in uh, chrome so you just press ctrl shift and p and type render so you can do show rendering and this is the rendering thing i think you can go to that in some other way as well like maybe here yeah. more tools and then rendering but yeah so that's the shortcut now you find that yeah so here it is the first option in here itself is that uh, you change it to dark and you if you refresh it should give us a true yeah it is giving us true so which means user prefers dark mode if i change it to light and it should give us false right uh, so based on that so I'll, I'll assign this to a constant here so const uh, user prefers dark mode yeah so if it is true which means user prefers dark mode okay so now that is that is there so let's say user prefers dark mode right so if user prefers dark mode what do we do set theme and we have this function already just below it and we can set it to dark right else we can do set theme light right. so so this should this should this should do it now it is light if i refresh nothing happens now if i change it to dark and refresh it should yeah it, it set it to dark um now if i do no emulation i think it should uh, switch back yeah it did okay so that uh, that takes care of it now i can actually simplify it so some if you have like you know same functions running uh, i mean uh, if you have the same functions 
uh, on a if condition you can actually simplify it so i think i can do if set theme equals so user prefers in a ternary operation i can check what it is if it is true i can put dark otherwise i can say light so i can remove this so it became a single line here all right um so let's test that i mean it should work so let me change it to dark and refresh it does okay uh, now that is there uh, i think this should be it but sometimes what happens is you know user has set manually to dark mode so let's say you know he prefers light scheme of apps in his os but he has manually set it to dark mode okay but now if we refresh it uh, you know it switches back to light which is uh, which is not good right so we have to maybe check for another thing which is has a user set dark mode has user set dark mode so uh, maybe like you know manually or you can add uh, anything you want here uh, uh, make sure you know anyone reading this also understands what you're what you're trying to you know convey and in that case so we will try this uh, i mean if it is dark if this value is dark then it means that user has already you know set it to dark uh, that could be the case yes uh, this could work so what we want uh, i mean we want this to happen if user has not set it theme to dark manually so we say not as they use it to manually and then we put this inside i'm not quite sure if this gonna be i i'm thinking like you know the os uh, operating system dark mode and light mode will not be changed that often uh, they will usually set it once and they may not change it like forever um, but the dark mode set by the user manually so that might that might change uh, okay so let me refresh here so prefers is light and let's say we change it to dark and then we refresh now it is not going to the light scheme even though user prefers the light scheme but if i come back here in the application and uh, i delete this cookie right and then refresh now it should go to light okay now if i switch to dark here and then do it and it should go to dark uh, so this means our website checks whether the user prefers dark mode or light mode and applies the theme accordingly so once it is done i think you know user already is aware that he can switch to other modes and he will do it on his own the the idea is like you usually when they visit first to our website uh the the cookie will not be there so let's say they come here and uh, if they prefer dark mode we show the dark mode itself yeah okay so this is this is how we can you know enhance our light and dark mode and uh, yeah so subscribe so there will be more videos coming uh, i'll see you in the next one bye bye